super, super long lasting fresh fragrances. These are the best men's colognes that will last. The first one is Dylan Blue. It is a really, really great cheap fragrance that you can get blind by. It's great for younger demographic because it has this boyish, just really fun vibe. It's super long lasting. It's a typical blue freshie. It's a great one if you're just starting your collection or if you want something super casual. Just think about jeans, white t-shirt, this sort of a walking outside situation. Next up, we've got something a bit different. So on, in this list, you've got designer, cheapies, and also niche fragrances. This is one of the niche fragrances. It's Cell d'Argent from BDK. This fragrance, it's long lasting at it, and it's a freshie that it's really special. It's very salty. It's Cell is salt in French. So it's very salty, marine-like. It smells like the seaside, but when it's like really hot and you've got loads of this like vegetal salty scent, it smells also like a very high-end hotel. There's something about it. It's super fresh, but in a way that is not your typical freshie. It's gorgeous. It's super luxurious smelling. And I would say for a man, this is top, top class. Next, we've got a designer scent that is long lasting and it gives you a bit of a twist to your normal freshy Valentino Uomo. This is born in Roma, eau de toilette. I love Valentino colognes because they just make them so fun and just bad boy. This one is fruity, so we've got a bit more sweetness than your usual blue cologne, but then it does have the facets of a blue cologne. This reminds me a bit of like the Azaro fragrances, but it's a bit fresher. I really love it. Longevity is there and it's a fun bottle. So... <laughs> Who can, who can resist? This is so cool. Next up, we've got one of my favorite products. It was only released last year. So if, if you're looking for something that is maybe a bit newer, something that maybe not everybody has, but it has got this longevity and a bit of uniqueness. I like fresh fragrances that have got uniqueness in them. And this one, Prada Luna Rosa Ocean has got that. It's so good. It just, it's so intense. It's ocean-like, but also it's got this intensity, this fruity funness at the top. It's so, so good. I can almost smell cherries in here. I don't know if you guys can smell them. Let me know in the comments, but it's so, so good. Ah, so fun. Really, really good and unique for a freshie to have this like almondy cherry thing. Oh, so just sexy and fun. Next up, we've got Green Leaf from Power from Dramali. This is mouth watering, fresh, long lasting, super long lasting, guys. Really projecting as well. And there's this really transparent woodiness that is super spicy to it. It smells really attractive. It's a niche fragrance that does smell super likable, but gives you that edge. It's not your typical freshie at all. This just, oh, it's gorgeous. My husband wears it a lot during the summertime and he used to wear it to the gym or like playing sports outside. It smells so good and really projects. So you'll be able to smell yourself and other people will be able to smell you. So it's hard for a freshie to do that. And this one does it so, so well. It's to die for. Next up, we've got an Eta Libre d'Orange fragrance. This one, you or someone like you, it's an amazing minty. So think about chewing gum sort of mintiness but together with this like watery coolness this will work even in like really immense heat it will refresh you or make you feel like you've just taken a, a cold shower it's sexy it's minty it's so so good i just love how it smells in the air especially oh wow there's something about it it's a cool take on a freshie. It's not your usual freshie again. I like something that has that edge so that you get noticed for your fragrance. And this one has it. 
Oh my gosh, love that mintiness. Oh, next up, we've got a Bois et Redisson from Mise en Cire. This fragrance is super long lasting, but doesn't project hugely. So with longevity though, it's really, really good. It's got loads of natural ingredients. It kind of smells like a very soft leather and then a bit of like citrusiness at the top. It's got a bit of softness, creaminess to it. It smells like a guy that owns like a mansion on Lake Como, you know? This is like your George Clooney sort of a scent. There is a dignity to the way I do it. Really, really expensive smelling, something very different and really hard to get your hands on this fragrance because Mise en Cire does like exclusives for different shops and it's not a fragrance that everybody will own. So if you're looking some, for something that is super special, this is an amazing scent. I love when my, hus my husband wears this one. If you're looking, however, for an affordable, just blind buy worthy cologne that is long lasting and fresh, Aqua Purom from Bulgari. This one is refreshing. It's like, you will smell like a sea god. You're out of your mind, Bruce Wayne. This scent is gorgeous. I have been talking about this scent for a few years now. Since, ever since I started this channel, I think this is a scent that is underrated. Maybe you'll be able to smell it, maybe not on yourself, but other people will be able to smell it. There's something about it when my husband wears it and I can smell it. I'm like, oh, it smells so good. And it's not like in your face freshy, but it just blends with your own skin so well. You literally smell like you were born in the sea and you're just coming out of it. And you're just like, ah. Oh. It's super sexy, shower fresh, really, really good. Next up, we've got a very long lasting and very projecting fragrance that smells like spring. It's Elysium uh, Cologne by Roja. This is super likable, super easy to wear. If you're looking for a niche a cologne that will be perfect for every day, that you will wear for every occasion, this smells gorgeous. It's super refreshing. You've got sparkliness when you, um, like the fizziness when you, for example, for example you smell um, Coca-Cola or Sprite or something. This has got that when you first spray it on. It's super intense, a bit smoky, woody. It's so, so addictive. And there is a huge, huge cloud of fragrance when you wear this one. So you can't escape it. You just have to love it. I love it so, so much. It's a fragrance, a cologne that nobody will hate ever because it's so likable, but yet you can totally smell the quality of the scent uh, when you wear it. It's not like nobody will think, oh, it's a designer cologne. No, it's definitely niche, but it's got the likability of a designer cologne. I've got another proposition for you. And also let me know down in the comment, what is your favorite long lasting freshie? Because we know, right, it's really hard to get a super long lasting freshie. Aqua di Gio Profondo Light is one of them. Aqua di Gio line, is quite long lasting, Profondo as well, but this one is one that for me, it's super fresh. Others can be a bit less fresh <laughs> if you want to put uh, like some expression to it, but this one is young. It's the youngest smelling, I would say, the most modern smelling out of all the Aqua di Gio's. So if you're maybe somebody younger and wants an Aqua di Gio, you want that DNA, but you feel like the original or the Profumo might be a bit too vintage smelling for you personally then this is something that is to me this smells like kind of like spring break fun like poolside very laid back really nice fresh cologne for hot weather climates and yeah it's got that dna but it's made fresher and more young next absolutely beastly, really long lasting fragrance. It's Amorous Om from MFK. This is the Eau de Toilette. And man, do I say this really is strong and it is long lasting. It's super unique. To me, this is the sort of a cologne that is definitely signature worthy. This is not some cologne that is like one of thousands. This is so special that it could be a signature scent. It smells super interesting 
um, sexy, but in like this non traditional non-basic way it's something that i would definitely ask somebody oh what fragrance are you wearing because it's not something you smell every day and my husband wore it this morning actually and it woke me up and i then he went to play tennis and i was like what is that scent and i tried to search in my mind what it was because it woke me up and i was like oh my gosh this smells so good what is it i have to remember this is the scent that it did did it for me it's an amazing amazing cologne wholeheartedly recommend next we've got a freshy but more of a classy freshy that is timeless and it is green water parfum from jacques Favre. this is super i would say smells like what you think of a cologne <laughs> like when you go to a barber shop and you s smell like a cologne this is the sort of barber shoppy sort of a cologne very good quality it's got greenness it's got a bit of sweetness in here it's long lasting it's one of those you know like ms colognes also have got this timelessness to them this is that sort of cologne I would see it also on somebody who is a bit more, uh, I would say, like of an adult. Like this is a put together, somebody who has got it all going on, like successful career, just uh, everyday busy, just somebody who just owns the worth. This is the sort of a cologne. This is not your teenager cologne, although if you're a teenager and you love it, just wear it. But this sort of cologne is somebody who's made it to me. It's a really great one and I love the magnetic cup. Next, magnetic cup. I love magnetic cups. It's Dior Sauvage Eau de Toilette. You, are, you probably know it. Oh so good i mean what can i say it is good it is very popular but it is hugely long lasting and uh, this sporty freshy shower gel sexy fragrance is just a recipe for compliments for everything this is your casual everyday sort of a cologne that you can wear to work it's woody it's fresh it's blue it's just magnificent it's really really good although many people wear it you'll still be complimented for it just be afraid be afraid yeah be afraid to wear too much of, uh, of it because i feel like you can go you can just make yourself be that person that annoying person if you spray too much of Dior Sauvage or the toilet because this is a strong ass cologne and it's long lasting as well so don't be that person that smells of this too much because then it's off-putting but if done right then it's a gorgeous gorgeous cologne then let me know your favorite uh, fresh long lasting cologne down below i'll link all of these also for you and the best deals for them because i often get like a discounts and stuff so i'll pop them in the description link uh, you can find it by pressing the arrow on your phone for example and all of the description and all of the links will pop there give me a like if you enjoy such videos and i'll see you in the next one